Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my media room. I got two gigantic 110 inch screens to show you today. These are portable screens, so these are not the ceiling mount or the fixed wall mount. These are portable. And the reason why I want to show you these is because you know, there's people out there that are doing office presentations or professional presentations. And then of course, there's a guy like me who just wants a home theater set up in their house when they want it. And then, you know, when the movie's over, you just want to put it away and took it away. Or maybe you would just want to throw it in the backyard or something, you know, something for the kids like that. So these two projector screens are perfect for all those scenarios and then some. I'm going to be showcasing the Inlines Easy Cinema and Easy Cinema 2 110 inch projector screens. Now, first we have the regular easy screen. This one does not come with a case, but what it does come with is three adjustable feet. So you can adjust the width of the feet, which I've already got set up here. And then it comes with a tension rod. This is done by like a tension rod. And even though it's super long, let me see how long this thing is. Let me get a measurement for you. I think, uh, let me see here. Even though it's about 104 inches in length, it is not that heavy. Uh, even a small woman or a weak dude can actually pick this thing up. Let me go ahead and pick it up for you. So it's actually a two hand device. So you just pick it up just like that, carry it. Just don't be knocking over furniture and stuff like that. The wife's gonna be real upset you start knocking over lamps in the house. Anyways, this thing is super easy to set up. Like I said, it's not too heavy. So pretty much anybody can handle it. Just beware of the length. But watch this, you take this tension rod out right here. And this is a telescoping rod. You just telescope it in and out. So you can adjust this thing to be about this tall or this tall, but why am I doing this with the pole? Let me just show you how this thing works. You pull it up by this handle right here, one hand operation, nice and smooth. And then you go ahead and place the tension rod in the dedicated spot. And then you go ahead and hook the handle right over the tension rod, just like that, and it's locked in place. Can you see me? So at this level right here, you got the whole screen visible. Now this would be something if you got some people sitting directly in front of it and you don't need it to be that high. Go ahead and lift up, just lift. And you're gonna have to do this with both hands and just lift and push, tighten up the tension rod, and that is how tall it gets. So how tall is this? Where's my tape measure? How high is this off the ground? This is three feet off the ground. So now we got a total of about 94 inches high and about 104 inches uh, wide. So if, you, if you're wondering if this is gonna fit in your living room, I just gave you the measurements and both of them are the exact same size. So like I said, this thing is fully adjustable up or down. You can drop it down three feet or raise it three feet higher. Now, if you notice, we have this shiny vinyl stuff right here. This is just blackout space. Right here, you'll see along the whole entire frame is this black border and you can't really tell from here, but it's a textured border and it's sort of light absorbing. And I really like that because when you set up your projector, if you're like me, you never get it perfect. You're either too far inside of the white or you're spilling out a little bit into the black. And because this is light absorbing, it almost just cuts out the light and it just makes your image look perfectly square. That way it doesn't spill over too much. So speaking of the screen itself, this is constructed with the uh, max white material. So what that means in layman's terms is that it's gonna be 3D ready, uh, 4K ready and HDR ready. And it's going to disperse light in a nice even fashion. That way nothing's discolored. All the colors are highly accurate and it's gonna project a, a highly contrasted image uh, because this is like a pure, pure white. And that's gonna make your projected image look the best possible. So here's the thing, you go out and buy yourself a projector, spend all this money and it's, it does 4K and native 1080p and stuff like that. And then you go match it up with a budget uh, screen. You're doing yourself a huge injustice because the screen actually matters. These screens look great. The contrast is great. The color reproduction is great. When you upgrade the screen to something like this, you're going to be displaying the closest thing that your projector is projecting. It's not gonna be some skewed image uh, like what you would get with a lot of budget screens. Now, enough about this one because this one is actually the little brother to what I have to show you today. But before I show you the big brother, I gotta show you the back of this thing so you'll know what I'm talking about. Bring it down, unhook it, and then let it fall into itself and it's all hooked up. Try not to knock over anything because I don't want my old lady all mad at me. Put it back down. Now we are on the back side of it. Put the tension rod back in, just like such. And then there you go. That's what it looks like from the back. So let me go ahead and dismantle this one, put it off to the side. That way I can show you my favorite of the two, which is the Easy Cinema 2. A few moments later. All right, so now I get to show you Big Brother. Once again, it's not a super heavy thing. It's just long, that's it. So you gotta be careful. Don't be knocking stuff over. Let me go ahead and sit it down. It does come with a nice case. I like this red piping on the case. Let's just open it up. You got these two zippers right here. Go all the way back to that side. Now let me walk all the way to the other side. 
you get this open. So taking it out of the nylon case, you'll notice that it actually comes with its own enclosure. So you can just store this thing just like this if you want to. You see these two latches right here that kind of opens up the casing, but on the bottom, it comes with these built-in feet and they just flip out 90 degrees just like that. And they need to be out because this is a tall screen and you want some feet under such a tall screen. So let's just leave those just like that. We will undo the two latches kind of like a toolbox kind of latch. Flip the lid open just like this, and then the screen is ready to come out. This is the easiest screen you're probably ever gonna operate as far as a portable screen. All you gotta do is pull up the handle, one hand operation. So it has a scissor back. That's what makes this thing so easy to operate when you're taking it up or down. It doesn't actually seem as tall as the other one. Let me measure this one just to make sure. I know it's just as long, so it's about 104 inches long. Let me see if it's the same height up and down. So we're looking at about 90 to 91 inches in height. The other one was about 94, but it's the same width and it's the same screen size, 110 inches. And what we have here, we don't have that, uh, that plasticky bottom right here. This is all that light absorbent material. It's the same material on the border all the way around and this buffer right here. And once again, you don't have to extend it all the way up. All you gotta do is just kind of pull it down just like that. Is that cool or what? easy operation so you can just have this thing at any height you want it to have and this is the actual max white 2 material so this one is actually going to be better at dispersing the light and creating contrast and stuff like that than the first one i showed you but the ease of operation of this thing the quality of the bill is really second to none man if you're gonna get one of the two i definitely suggest investing in this one just because of the ease of operation it comes with its own case two times over now before i get out of here i definitely got to show you the back of this thing so you can see how it operates and why it's so easy the material oh man I, i'm just i'm in love with this thing because it's so easy to operate some of the other ones i've used the reason why I wanna harp on this is because some of the other ones I've used, not only was the build quality not as uh, good as this, it was just not constructed as well. It's kind of flimsy and stuff like that, but the ease of operation, it was kind of, it was kind of clumsy, you know, some some parts wobbled a little bit and sometimes you needed like a person standing on the other side. This right here, true one-handed, one person operation. I'm not gonna close it all the way because all I wanna do is show you the back of this so you can see how it operates with that scissor back. So once again, open it up. Look, one pinky pulling it up just like that. Is that awesome or what? It's a finely constructed device. You got these shocks right here, the scissor construction, everything's working in unison to make your life that much better. But look, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just like watching Game of Thrones on the biggest screen I could possibly fit in my house. And if you're looking at screens right now, I highly suggest the Easy Cinema or Easy Cinema 2. My personal preference, definitely the Easy Cinema 2, just because of everything I just showed you as far as the upgrade and material on the screen and the ease of use and storage of this thing. But for now, I gotta run. And if you had a good time watching this video, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today's your lucky day because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff.